How's it going everyone? I'm Butler and on today's Serving of Life I'll be telling you why I can no longer use my Geralt Steel Sword in combat. At the start of my channel one of my first review videos was of the Geralt Steel Sword Scabbard and Sword and Scabbard so you can find that on this channel right now and I've made comments about how amazing the scabbard is, how it can be good for storage for your sword and that you, be, you should be able to store it so you can have it so the tip is facing downwards and it will be able to protect your sword. Unfortunately that's not true anymore. Recently I have discovered an issue with my sword. Before the tip of my sword used to be like this. Now it is like this. And during this whole year and a half, I haven't been able to use the sword at all in combat. So it's just been safely stored away in my wardrobe with the in the scabbard. So I couldn't think of any other reason why the tip was damaged to this extent without me using it before, until it just hit me. The scabbard. Unfortunately, for the scabbard, for the Geralt Steel Sword scabbard, it's exactly the same length as the blade, if not maybe a little bit less. I actually double checked both the blade length as well as the scabbard and they both measured exactly about 93 centimeters in length. So you can see I, am, I put the sword in the scabbard and if you can tell the guard is not touching the lip of the scabbard which means the pressure is not on the guard when it's inserted into the scabbard it's actually all the way at the tip. This over time has caused the tip of the sword to be worn out to a point where I can, it cannot be played safely. Not all, sca not all scabbards have this issue though. Take the Zarel sword for example. It's been in its own scabbard as, just as long as this Geralt steel sword. The tip not worn at all. It's very safe, relatively safe. The foam is not damaged at all because I insert it into the scabbard it stops at the guard, not at the tip. I also manually measured the Zarel sword blade and its scabbard, the blade measuring up at 92 centimeters, while the scabbard measures up at 94 to 95 centimeters. So, for my Zarel sword, it is safe. However, unfortunately, since, it, since the blade of the Geralt Steel Sword is exactly the same length as the scabbard, it's not protecting it it's damaging the tip to the point where I can no longer use it safely in combat. Now, I've emailed Calmus Hill about this issue. Hopefully it's just my scabbard. That could be just the issue. I did email Calmus Hill explaining the scenario and how this may be a massive quality issue for the steel sword scabbard. They got back to me saying, sorry, this has happened to you. However, on the website, it says that it's made to fit perfectly for the Geralt steel sword. And that's the problem, because it's made to fit perfectly for the sword, but it's too perfectly, even not too perfectly, because it's now damaged the tip, and I can't use it anymore. I emailed them back saying, well, hopefully you can take this, heed this issue, because it may, hopefully it's just my scabbard that's just this bad, but what if it's other people? Um, if you do find yourself having the sword and scabbard, and have that same little issue where it's not on the guard, that means it's on the tip, I would recommend, you can still use it for combat and roleplay games, so you can still have it strapped to your belt and take it out because the pressure is sort of not on the tip anymore, it's sort of on its side, but when you're storing it away, I recommend taking the sword out of the scabbard, store the scabbard and the sword separately with the sword tip facing upwards, so you're protecting the blade. And that's it, I just wanted to make this little quality issue I found recently, hopefully Callum Seal will probably do something about this. Has this happened to you, or do you have this sword that has that same issue? Please let me know in the comments below. Like this video if this video helped, I really hope it did, because I felt like something I needed to make a video on. And subscribe to my channel, please. I uh, have more LARPing content on the way, we just did our first game the other day. First game back at a new field, so I'll be doing a video on that, releasing a video on that soon. I'm Butler, farewell, and take care.